Hi, in this video I'd like to show you this amazing discovery I made. It's the tomb of a great king in the side of this volcanic hill in the Robledo Mountains. This is him in his stately robes. And I'm going to show you through the glyph systems in this area and through other evidence why I believe this guy is buried in this hill. All this area is disturbed and each one of these patches of different coloration uh, forms glyphs from above. You can see it here at a large scale. So let's meet the king. He appears to be a balding Asian man, maybe a little portly. He has a pointed beard and a stringy uh, Fu Manchu mustache. He's shown here surveying the landscape. He's going to draw a map to figure out how to turn it into all this art. In this picture, he's shown in red, painting on this grid. And here he is in his royal robes. So here's the story of his life on the landscape, including uh, him in a burial shroud. There's more to it than this. This is the main part of it that was partially finished. Here he is faced off with a red-headed man, and I wonder if they aren't mates, because I've seen in these uh, important glyphs at Rincon that these two figures are mates. These two hills are tied together in their glyph systems and are obviously uh, lovers and mates. I think the same is true for this red-headed woman on the left and a red-headed man on the right on this same hill that they were a couple. So I wonder if these uh, two figures aren't a couple and the king appears to be reaching down and either holding his hand or maybe uh, holding him more in the groin area. It's one of those things I look for is the sexuality in these characters. So I've been studying this area of the northern Robledo Mountains. You can see in the lower left the dark volcanic hill This I believe is this tomb site. To the right of that is where this artist's life is depicted in glyphs. And to the right of that is this area that's all been freshly disturbed and it was never finished in its development. And this is what it looks like. That's over 600 years old and there's still nothing growing on these hills. If you look up towards the mountain, you can see a hill with all this red dirt and it's all been disturbed and carved out into these various figures. This is all man-made. When you look above, you can see that there's this giant face in the side of the mountain and that that area is um, where those lines are down by the arroyo, that little hill I just showed you, it's all carved out. This is pretty amazing looking. And as you zoom out, it gets even more amazing as you realize that this face is on a large serpentine figure and the, the artist's life glyphs appear to be uh, being painted onto the landscape by this character. I'm really flabbergasted by this. It's amazing. But now as you zoom out, you see this dark area that's the serpentine body of this character goes down into the black volcanic hill and trace it all the way down to this hill, much like that. And as you get in even closer, you out and draw the outline of this dark area, it's pretty obviously pointing right to this uh, big disturbance on the side of this volcanic hill that I believe has got to be a tomb, and a tomb of a very important person that I'm calling the Artist King. So let's take a closer look at this tomb complex. I'm calling it that because there's different levels of road carved into the side of this hill. All this had to be engineered. You'd have to go out and survey it and build it. And you have to know what you're doing. It takes a lot of work. Um, I believe that there's tombs along both of these roads. And I believe the large disturbance at the top is a large tomb and that this upper disturbance is where they were pushing material down to cover up the entrance. You can see that this disturbance in itself forms a glyph of maybe a bird, and that all these uh, 
piles of rock and gradations in the side of the hill form all these different figures. These are geoglyphs. Under the right lighting, you can see how complex these uh, shadings are that they create these uh, elaborate paintings on the landscape. From below, you can see how this big disturbance is sloped. It hasn't been dug out like in a historic quarry. It's been filled back in. And all these piles of rock, again, are placed here purposely. And there may have been natural features that they modified to look like this, but this has uh, been made into a head and a figure below. Even the smaller pile of rocks to the left looks to be a figure. Every one of these rocks was placed purposely to create these images. All the different shading, all the different colors of rocks, it all forms glyphs in these pictures in the side of the hill. You can see all that loose rock, that's not a natural formation. A uh, millions of year old hill would be all soil and vegetation, not loose rock like that. If you zoom out from this hill, you see that this road continues to a couple more disturbances that I believe are tombs. Again, someone had to spend the time and effort to build and engineer these roads going up this hill. And for what purpose? And again, it appears to be uh, disturbances that are filled in and not any kind of mining operation. Not only that, but all those different colorations of the soil and rock create these geoglyphs. As you zoom out, you can see, again, all the pictures on the landscape that are here. And this black hill appears to form a character riding an elephant, of all things. But because these people were from all over the world, they knew about these different animals. Some of them may have even lived in other parts of the world before coming here to southern New Mexico to fight with the Aztecs. If you look under different lighting, it appears to form a head facing to the right, and there may be a phallus in front of him. So again, it makes me look and wonder about the sexuality in these characters. It can look like a face facing up. Zoom in on part of the hill, and it looks like a guy defecating into a snail shell, and his back is formed by a shell. And then just on another ridge to the east of this black hill, uh, various birds carved into the, the top of this ridge. And then on the north side of this volcanic hill, a figure that's been uh, engineered out of the rocks and the soil. So there you have it. There's my evidence that this uh, disturbance in the side of this hill is the tomb of a great king, the artist king of the Robledo Mountains.